Aminex has confirmed that gas production at the Kilawani Northfield in Tanzania has achieved the equivalent of 5,000 barrels of oil per day. Jay Bhattacharjee is chief executive and he joins us now. Uh, congratulations, because I know this is something you've been working towards. Explain what's gone on exactly. Sure. Thanks a lot uh, for having me. This is a, a real big milestone for the company. Uh, achieving uh, 30 million cubic feet or 5,000 barrels equivalent um, is, is something that... Uh, you know, we've been saying that uh, this well has been capable of for a long time, and, and we're, we're really happy to be up here um, at that. This is a commissioning rate. What we're looking to do is, is to get to that uh, optimized uh, flow rate, which is going to you know, likely be sometime tail end of this month when the TPDC have notified us that well testing will be concluded. But it should be theoretically around this rate. So we're really happy about that. Is everything you've seen geologically giving you confidence this is going to sustain at these sort of levels? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, we're, we, we, we've got uh, live pressure data and pressure recordings um, uh, on the well site right now. So what we're doing is we're evaluating the pressure response. But from, from the early indications and the early readings that we have, um, you know, we have, a, we have a good well out there. And, and uh, again, we're, we're real excited to be uh, producing at these rates right now. Yeah, so. in, in immediate reaction to this, the share price was up, I think, as much as 10% on the, the day. Um, but just talk to us about what it means for investors, because this is a share price that doesn't, to me at least, represent a company that's producing the equivalent of 5,000 barrels of oil a day. Yeah, you know, like, as I've publicly stated, um, we as management aren't, uh, aren't traders, but um, the company's got a lot, a lot of positive things uh, for it. And, uh, you know, traditionally, of course, we're supposed to say that, but if we do look, as you say rightfully, uh, very few producing companies um, with development assets of our size are trading as as low uh, market cap and valuations as we are. So, uh, you know, we're not traders, nothing I can do about the stock price, but, um, you know, with my uh, big shareholding hat on, it, it would be nice to, to have um, uh, some more recognition in terms of production and, and development opportunities that we have in front of us. What is it that you see needs to be done to to bring about that opportunity for investors? Because I mean, what sort of market are you selling to? I mean, that's another question, isn't it? Yeah, what, is that holding up? Is the gas market yeah, holding up? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a great question because, you know, again, we come back to the to the Kilowani production itself. We, we are selling to the government. Um, there's growing demand in country. Uh, there's growing opportunities. And, you know, we get paid in U.S. dollars uh, at a fixed price. So this is something that, you know, will add to great value going down the road. And then further to that, we have De Revuma development coming. This is an exploration we're after. It's development which will continue to add more cash flow in the next 12, 18 months coming forward. So uh, we've got, again, a lot of opportunities in front of us uh, for growth, which is all paid for in U.S. dollars. Are there any hurdles that you have to overcome with the Revuma license? Sure. You know, there's obviously, uh, there's, there's obviously uh, uh, always, you know, uh, things that get in your way in terms of drilling and, and development. These are natural things, but again, this isn't an exploration basin. This is a development basin. You know, as we drill out the wells, next well, uh, hopefully um, later this summer, early into fall, uh, second well potentially later this year, early into next year, as we drill those wells out, um, you know, we'll be looking into a situation where, uh, again, we'll be looking to add cash. And yes, we're going to have hurdles, but as we have in the last 36 months, we overcome those hurdles, and they always tend to be on a positive side of the direction. And of course, you're getting cash on the balance sheet now as well, aren't Correct, you? Correct, from, yeah. From, from Kilowani. Um, recently, I know you spoke about the fact you get paid in dollars, and, and you listed in London, but you have these operations in, in Tanzania. What does last week's Brexit vote mean for a company like Aminex? Well, we think it's an opportunity, actually, because, again, we're paid in U.S. dollars. Um, and we, we feel that, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're somewhat isolated from the Brexit vote itself. Now, without discussing any of the political side of the impact, obviously what we don't like is the instability created um, or the, uh, uh, the, the instability created in, in terms of, you know, funds and, and financial institutions. But uh, for us as a business, longer term, as we've stated publicly, we're part of the East, uh, East Africa energy mix. We're being paid in um, U.S. dollars. Uh, so. We think it's an opportunity for us to to expand and, and to um, to add to our business as well. Okay. Well, look. As I say, congratulations about the news and, and thanks indeed for dropping by. Okay. That's Jay Bhattacharjee. He is the chief executive of Aminex.